This video is brought to you by Zarkin Productions, an umbrella group composed of multiple shows, and an archive of over 5,000 videos covering a wide variety of topics. Please go to Zarkin.com for a complete listing of video links, social media feeds, and opportunities to support our content. Thank you for your time, and may I present another Zarkin production. interesting to see how the world champion deals with someone with the size and the power of strength and the strength of Cynthia Cybert. I don't really know much else mm -hmm. about her as of yet, but we know she's a big, powerful woman. That's going well, to be the other watch. thing I wonder. Well, the other thing I'm wondering is with all that cyberware I was looking at, can you port Skyrim into that? Well, I, you would have to ask her. And she doesn't look like the how, how shall I put this? She doesn't exactly look like the approachable type. Oh, I don't know. Well, you may have better luck with it than I would. So I'll you uh, maybe you can walk you can walk you can walk right up to Rikurahara, even though you've been misted twice already, and still looking for that third. And be none for the worse for wear. I wouldn't do that, but you can get away with it. So that's a, that's going to be a very interesting match to look forward to here tonight. We are also going to feature the inevitable Lady Death tonight, featuring going up against the Capoeira striker Vanessa da Silva. That is going to be fun to watch. You know, Lady Death is a former WPWF world champion herself. She's another big, powerful woman. But if there's anybody that can dissect somebody like that, it is without a doubt the Capoeira striker Vanessa especially if she can use that Capoeira style of hers to stay out of the reach of Lady Death. That could work very well in her favor. This is true because once she gets a hold of you, you'll see just how inevitable things can get. To only two things in life that are definite. One is death, and you know what the other is, taxes. Unless you're certain people who don't pay them. Well, you'll, they'll, they'll get you one way or another. Even if you don't pay federal income taxes, you do pay other taxes. You pay taxes on everything you buy. You pay, sell. They'll get you one way or another. They'll get you coming or they'll, you know, the, you know what they say about the tax ban? They say you can pay me now or you can pay me later. But you will pay it. Uh huh. Yeah, well, pay the piper one time or another. Guess who's here tonight? The suspension is up. The Harbor Shot Betty Nirvana is back tonight. Yes, yes, she is. I could tell because my head patter was going crazy. Well, that means you're on her good side. You're on most people's good side, though, aren't you? Did I lose you? No, oh, sorry. Um, I, I had a Yakuza trying to buzz me in the air. Well, you know, those things happen here sometimes. So we will anxiously look forward to seeing what what is, has been going on with the Harbor Shot Betty Nirvana here tonight. Huge challenge for Lolly Weihan Nihasa tonight as she goes up against the other half of Hisatsu. She'll be facing the Mistress of the Mist, Ri Kurahara, right here tonight. Who will forget that scene about maybe four weeks ago? Or Hisatsu was double teaming in the ring out of nowhere. Lolly Weihan Nihasa came in to break it up. Probably the loudest I have ever heard this WPWF crowd. And I'm sure that is front and front, first and foremost in the mind of Rika Ahara. She hasn't forgotten about this. So, oh no, I'm sure that the mistress of the mist hasn't forgotten a thing. She doesn't forget anything. And we've got a huge main event for you tonight as well. Re the, the Dragon Maiden of Dojima, Rita Kadoya, takes on Karma Star right here tonight. And don't forget, folks, we are one week away from Revenge, the big one. That'll come your way one week from tonight right here in the Underground Asylum. Yes, indeed. Now, what we're going to do right now is we are going to put some things. It won't be here. I'm being corrected on that. So somebody can tell me where it's going to. Oh, the Pro Dojo. That's, that, now, that's interesting. I haven't been there in quite a while. 
it'll be nice to see the pro dojo again. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put some I'm going to put some URLs into local for you here. I have to swing my microphone out of the way because I have to get to my keyboard to do this, and I can do one or I can do the other. Out. And here's the first one. This is the WPWF fan group. And we would certainly like it if you would join that. You'll have all the latest information of everything that happens here in WPWF. Coming up next is the fan group for our brother federation, DCWF. You can catch them tomorrow, 12 o'clock noon, for full tilt. And there is that. And we will have one more for you. This will be the fan group for Slam City Wrestling. You were too late for their show today. I, I'm not sure that they had one because we had a charity show. Oh, they did. I, I attended. Did you? Okay. So they did. They were in action today. Here is that. Here is that last one for you. There's the fan group there for Slam City Wrestling fans. <clears throat> Halfway through here, about 15 minutes to go before we get started here tonight. We'll do match predictions in just a few moments here. I want to give you yet another opportunity to get all your friends in here, get them in here. Please do not be right up against the barricades when you start TP and folks in, because what will happen is the person that you're TP and in will end up on the wrong side of the guardrail. And that's not where you want to be when the sirens are on the loose here in about 15 minutes. So just take a few steps backward. Maybe go out to the go out to the lobby. Go out, go over there where those smart T-shirts are. Check those T-shirts out, by the way, too. Seventy-five Lindens each, and there are many to choose from. With even more, even newer ones coming along the way here. So check those out. That's a good place to keep folks in because they'll be nice and safe. They won't be in harm's way when Lady Death or Cynthia Cyberdyne or Chioko Rikurahara come out here tonight. Keep your friends safe. So please be careful when you do that. You won't. Don't be right up against that barricade and don't TP somebody in so they end up where they don't belong. Just take a few steps back. And yes, because we do reserve the right to keel haul, hang from the yard arm, or make you walk the plank. Well, I knew you are going to walk. You're going to make somebody walk the plank tonight. I just don't know who it's going to be. Oh, I'm sure someone will be walking a plank. Now, you're, you're a Star Wars person. You're not a Star Trek person, are you? Actually, I'm both. Well, do you remember the scene from one of the movies when Lieutenant Worf got promoted? They made him walk the plank, and they made him jump at the very end of the plank to reach up and grab his new badge of honor? Yes, I do. And uh, I think it was Data said, remove the plank after he caught it. He said, this is Data. It's retract plank, not remove plank. So guess what happened to Lieutenant Lieutenant Commander Worf? Fell right in the drink. Uh huh. Well, that's how it should be. So you're gonna put somebody in the drink as well. Hopefully there are no sharks. Of shark course. Hopefully there are no sharks there. Oh, just my sisters. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. We are about twelve minutes away from getting started tonight. You wanna you wanna predict who we think is going to emerge victorious here tonight? We'll start off with Katie Carter and the fabulous Von Ola. You know, Von Ola is a good, she's a great competitor. She's an up-and-coming superstar. But I tell you, I have got to go with the experience, the vast experience of Katie Carter right here tonight. Well, I actually need to agree with you on that. Um, Katie, of course, has that experience. But I don't know. Maybe Von Ola will pull it off. You never know. Well, that is one thing that rings very true in this business of professional wrestling. Virtually, I don't want to say always, but virtually any team can win. Any person can win on any given day. And that's just how things come to, sometimes work in this business. So it would not surprise me for Vanola to pull off an upset here tonight. Now, I don't usually make a prediction when somebody's just going to come out and talk to us as the classically trained horses Morrissey is going to do. But I am going to predict that horses is going to out something that we haven't seen before is horses is horses of course have you read horses on horses 
Um, I've been working on the cliff notes. Oh, you can't you, you can't get horses more see out of cliff notes. You gotta you gotta get the real thing. Well, I can give it a try. If they have it in Arabash. I didn't know it was available on C D. Is is it narrated by horses herself? Well that be that's that's gotta be worth having. I gotta get that in my collection. Hey sis, do they have it in Arabash? Do they have it in what? Sixty five CDs. Good grief. That's a lot of horses on horses there. Also on also on tap tonight, you're going to hear from Akira Akabine. Moving into that second match here. The WPWF World Champion Kamikaze Chioko taking on the debuting Cynthia Cyberdyne. You saw her a little bit earlier backstage. She is a big, powerful woman. It'll be interesting to see how how the world champion with her vast experience deals with somebody who's a lot bigger, a lot more powerful, a lot stronger than she is. Still, you got to go with the world champion. I don't know. I, I'm going to go with the newcomer. You think you think Cynthia Cyberdyne's going to pull off an upset here tonight? Well, again, you never know. And um, to be honest, I'm not as big a fan of Chioko as uh, I am of her partner. So I'm going to go with uh, Cynthia on this one. Well, I'll tell you what, we won't have long to wait before we actually get to see that match right in front of us here at the Underground Asylum because we are less than 10 minutes away from getting started here tonight. Lady Death taking on the Capoeira striker, Vanessa Da Silva. You know all about Lady Death, the former WPWF world champion herself, another big, powerful woman. As I indicated earlier, if anybody is capable of dealing with that, it would be the Capoeira striker, Vanessa Da Silva. She uses it, if she can use that dance style of hers to stay out of the reach of Lady Death and she can hit and move as she usually is trained to do she could fare she could fare very well here tonight and i think she may do just that so that's why i am going to go tonight with the with the capoeira striker vanessa de silva well i'm going to go with lady death simply because once she gets her hands on her all that dancing around isn't going to matter because she's going to get planted in the center of the ring like a tombstone well you know speaking of lady death do you see what's on my head here have you ever seen a black Santa cat before? This is Lady Death approved. Why, yes, I have, and I approve as well. There you go. I actually, I think it's not black enough. It needs to be blacker. So I'm going to, I'll work on that after the show here tonight. Moving on down the line here, Lolly Wehani Hasa taking on your favorite, the Mistress of the Mist, Ri Kurahara. No secret as to which way you're leaning in this match. Of also, course, I've got to go with the mistress. Also, no, what, no secret in which way I'm leaning in it as well. I got to go with my girl Lolly here. Mistress of the well, Mystery. You know. she, she is a dangerous competitor. Like we said, another, another one of those competitors that can stick and move and move very quickly is Lolly Weha Nahasa. And if she hits that 630, it's all it's going to be all she wrote. This is true, but if, you know, Re gets her hands on her and hits her with that Jade Driller, that's all she wrote. Well, that's one of the another one of the great matches you're going to see here tonight. How about our main event? It will be the Dragon Mist of Dojima, Rina Kadoya, in the ring tonight with Karma Star, the veteran, former Siren Rising champion herself. This could go either way after what we have seen out of Rina lately. Well, I have to go with Rena because Yakuza stick together. They certainly do. And Karma Star is, she's not known to associate with a whole lot of people. She's pretty adept at standing on her own. And she's proven that on so, so many different occasions here. So I'm going to go with Karma Star on this one. Say that one more time. I'm going to go with Karma Star on this one because I think she's got the vast experience. She could deal with somebody like Rena Kadoya 
She's got the she's got the knowledge. She's got the know how. She knows she's done. She's seen and done everything in this business. It's pretty hard to bet against Karma Star in just about any match. Well, I'm definitely going to go with Rena. Um, flat out, you know, she's got that wonderful yakuza know how, and we're not known for failure. So, I know she's going to do everything she can to do everything she could when did to you win. All become, when did you all become Yakuza? Actually, you know, you know, um, you know what Yakuza is, don't you? Um, yes, I was married to the Oyabun of the Anaguma clan many okay. years ago. Okay, just checking. <laughs> now, so, that, so exactly when did this happen again? That was my first husband, so that would have been um, well over eight years ago. Okay. As a matter of fact, I uh, left him for, uh, well, let's just not go into those details. It's best if you did. <laughs> the more and more I, I hear you talk, Coy, there are so many chapters about you that I have not yet read. Like, Drewski's even more here. Chances. I am happy to see you, Drewski, because I've got hey, something good for evening, you. Johnny. You got it something would, for me? What you got, sir? I, I got something for you. It wouldn't be the WPWF pre-show without a without a reference to the mid '80s Pro Bowlers Association. <laughs> what you got for me this week? What is bowling without loud pants? Oh, loud pants! Are, are, are you going with Mister Troop on this one? I'm going with Guppy Troop here. Guppy freaking Troop with his <laughs> loud loud pants and the freaking. Championships he won were all beer related, so he calls himself the beer rep bowling champion. Have you seen his kid? Yes, yes, his uh, son. I forget his first name off the top of the head, but he's got a huge afro and he bowls two handed. And he he had dreadlocks before that, didn't he? Uh, yes, he did. But then all of a sudden he went like Uber Bob Ross afro, and now he <laughs> he's going the way of the two handed, kind of like Jason Belmonte is right now, and going like that. I've tried bowl, bowling two handed. I I just don't have the coordination to do so. It's a lot harder than it looks. Well, there's your tidbit from the mid '80s Pro Bowlers Association. Here we do this every every other week here on the WPWF pre show. Drewski, I tell you, you are my brother from another mother. But I said we got a lot more in common than I think we think there. From music to bowling, I'm like, there's a lot more we can we can discuss here. So wide range of <laughs> topics here. Looking at the clock, Indeed. we're not quite there, but we're almost there. We do want to give you another opportunity to TP in all your friends, your family members, MC buddies, acquaintances, loved ones. Does not matter. Get them here because you do not want to miss what we've got coming your way here tonight. And we are one week away from revenge. The big one. It'll be at the Pro Dojo. Now. I don't know if it's the same time or if it's an hour earlier. Somebody can whisper that to me. I'm going to go with the same time until I am corrected on this. Because they don't tell me these things until I, until I misspeak. I misspeak myself. So nothing there. So I'm going to say same time, 6 p.m. SLT at the Pro Dojo. One week from tonight, 5 p.m. There we go. 5 p.m. SLT, one hour earlier than normal at the Pro Dojo. and I'll if, make a door to that somebody, in my calendar real quick. Okay, if somebody wants to shoot that uh, that landmark or that, that, inf that place, that, that location, and we can put that out there for them. And I'm sure it'll go out in the fan group as well. Points down the street. Is that on the sim? It is on the sim. I didn't know that. I thought it was somewhere else. See, wow. Have I really been away that long? Hold up, hold up. That I, I just, someone is shouting at me who I have not seen in a long, long time. Mr. Bombastic, where the hell are you? He's out there. I saw him a little bit earlier. You son of a bitch. <laughs> How you doing? Good to see you. So do take this less this last opportunity to get those folks TP'd in here before we get started. Descript as much as you possibly can. We want to keep funny. things crisp. We want to keep things snappy here at the Underground Arena. We're just about ready to get started tonight. Make sure the media is set. Make sure voice is on so you can hear us, so you can hear the sirens that speak to you. Please stay off the microphones. That is for us and us only until after the show is over with. And as always, say hi to Camera Kitty. 
Hi, Camera Kitty. We always Hi, love you. Camera Kitty. We always Everybody, love let's, let's, let's do some one three real quick. One, two, three. Hi, Hi Camera, Camera Kitty. Kitty. Thank you for all you do. We love you. All right. Who is ready for WPWF Asylum tonight? Make some noise. Noise. I gotta make sure my tasteful reverb is working really quick. Let me see if I got it working. Tasteful, tasteful, reverb, reverb. 